I just arrived in New York, in Houston, and uh, it's an awesome place here. I'm super excited to be fishing tomorrow. We're not fishing today because the, the best bite is really, really early in the morning. So we're waking up at 3.30 tomorrow to go try and catch a striper. And what we're looking for is saltwater striper and not small fish. You know, average is 20, 25 pounds. These get up to 30, maybe 40 pounds. And we're not really going for numbers. One or two, maybe three fish would be incredible. It'd be worth it to me to come up here and just catch one fish. These fish are mainly going to be in pretty deep water. We'll be fishing over about 50 or 60 feet of water, and our lures will be down in about 30 to 40 feet of water. Let me show you all what we're going to use. All right, guys, we're fishing for these striper on really, really, really heavy equipment. Uh, we're using a giant Shimano 800 reel. The line on this is actually steel line. It's just incredibly flexible. It's really thin. The purpose, the purpose for that is to get that bait down really, really far. Instead of using a downrigger, just use incredibly heavy line that gets that bait down really far. We're trolling at about four knots with these giant, giant spoons. This is supposed to be a, a bunker. A bunker is just kind of a, it's a mullet, but it's a more cold water mullet, I guess. Just a, a big bait fish, and they're actually about this size. These striper are eating really big baits, and this is just a giant spoon, giant J-hook with a treble on the back, and apparently this is what works. It gets down in that deep water, and it just goes side to side. Apparently they just crush it. What's up, man? I can't reel yet. I got Yeah. My drag's a little loose, man. It's looser than you think. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm getting line. Really? Okay. Oh boy. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Got some serious head shakes, man. What? Here's serious head shakes, I said. Oh yeah. Lose the rod. Oh, I ain't gonna lose your rod. Lose the rod now, all right? Come in next to me. Okay. Okay, walk back. Walk back. Oh. 
Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me get that line, man. Yeah, pull this in. Oh my gosh, jeez, man. Dude, that thing is huge. It's my first striper. You mean, put it in gear for more? Oh my god. Yo. Oh my gosh, man. First striper of the trip. And it's a giant. You're struggling to hold it. So much fun. Oh, I'm struggling to hold it. Incredible fish, man. Incredible. Look at the gills, baby. Oh. You see the gills from... Uh, wow. I'm incredibly stoked. Does? Yeah. It is. Well, I don't know. Do you go to the fork or do you go to the end? end? Fork or end? You go, you go all the way to the end. Okay, so it is uh, 40, 47. All right, y'all saw the baits that we were using to catch these striper. And we cut the striper up and that's what it is. That's a bunker. Simulated, that's simulated spoons. It's about the exact same size, you know? Yeah, it looks the same. Right? Perfect, that's crazy. There was two or three in there. Oh, here's another one. Wow, that's crazy. All right, guys, I just got back in from the New York trip. Um, I'm pretty exhausted, but I had the time of my life. You know, um, catching a fish like that was pretty incredible. We trolled a lot of hours, we trolled a lot of miles. We were able to kind of hook up on a couple other fish, but couldn't make anything else get all the way to the boat. But um, to me, that one fish was totally worth it. You know, going all the way to New York for that one fish was worth it for me. I'm all about the size. You know, I could have could have caught a whole bunch of smaller fish. That would not have been near as much fun. It would have, wouldn't have meant near as much to me as catching that one giant striper. You know, to me, that one fish, to me, that's a fish of a lifetime. Having never caught a striper and catching one that big, that was incredible. That meant a lot to me. Um, I can still replay that strike in my mind, that fish pulling drag. Everything about that was just awesome. And, you know, I don't know if I'll ever catch a striper that big again in my life. I think I will. I hope I will. But for now, I am more than happy with that being my PB. Um, and like I said, honestly, not a ton of skill involved on my part to just go up there and have my buddy put me on that fish. Nonetheless, it meant a lot to me. Um, I really appreciated it. It was awesome just seeing that fish. Just a striper that big. I've always thought about catching a striper to actually catch one that big. It was so cool. But I hope you all thought it was cool. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it was only one fish caught, but it was a serious fish. It was an awesome fish. I appreciate you all watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else y'all want to see. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you.